Hello and welcome to Digital Sync Gaming. I am Sentosis and this is episode 3 of Dial of Twenties 1.19. Right, I managed to get uh, a couple of Furnators, which is good, and I went ahead and made them because, well, you know, I needed them because mining was a pain. Uh, so Furnators are pretty straightforward. Dielectric paste. Uh, I literally got the lava, so we were all good. Um, yeah. I mean, you saw how to do that next last time. I then went for uh, so I've, I've only got the starter kits. I don't have the basic. Uh, I didn't have enough iron for the basic, and I still don't have enough iron for the basic. So what we are going to do is one other thing, and that is we're going to make something else from thermal because I want to go use it. Um. So let's go thermal. And there we go. So I want a flux saw, uh, which is pretty straightforward. Um, I mean, we've got most of the pieces. So let's go get some more redstone and some gold. Uh, we might have to smelt some gold, but that's fine. Uh, we should have just enough. And I mean, like, literally just enough. So the... So the flux bore is getting charged by this thing uh, when it's in my inventory. So that will then charge this as it gets used. And what I do is take that in the slot over there so it doesn't disappear out of my inventory. Now, if you want to turn that on and off, then it's just simply a case of right clicking it. Shift right click. On and off. If you want to change the mode that will charge equipment, press V and that will do inventory and press V and that will do all items, which is what I've got it set to. And then shift, click it into there. Sorted. That is pretty much how that battery works. Um, and that is literally a battery. It will just keep charging the stuff in my inventory. So let's go and get, uh, what do we need? We need three more gold for that. So that's fine. We've got some cooking. We'll get one of those. Hopefully I've got enough iron. Uh, right, we need some tin, so we need nuggets, and we also need some tin. Now, do I have enough tin? I do. Wow, look at that. Uh, right, so that one's just finished smelting, so we can do the gold. So let's go and get our redstone flux coil. Uh, I think it's a flux coil. Yeah, flux coil, and then a gold gear. That will give us those items. We need two tin gears, some iron, and a saw blade, which we've got everything now, so we're just waiting on the tin. So another six of those, we should be good. Where are we? Um, yeah, so I got the lava, as you can see, uh, and I've been using that to make the flux, or the flux. Um, this thing is not doing too bad. I've got two of them. I've got one either side charging them. So, I mean, it's it's not too bad. But they are basic ones. They only do, like, the real basic 20 FE a tick. Uh, trans max stack strict of 80 into the system. But, that I mean, look, we're just starting out. Once we've got more iron, we'll be good. So, two more, and we can make our... Uh, our flux saw and the reason I want it is because all the trees grew so I want to go up there and I just want to chop them all down in one hit so one more and we'll be good uh, we've got to look at upgrades to the furnace as well I'm not sure um, what we've got in this pack but it would be nice to get an upgrade for the furnace uh, so let's get two of these and then get ourselves a flux port, flux saw. Now, as soon as I take it out and put it in my inventory, it should start charging. There we go. That's that. So, yeah, if you want to get one of those little capacitors, they are awesome. Okay, so let's... Um, oh, I need the range upgrade, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, I need the range upgrade, or one of them. Um... Right, let's go back down. Do I have enough for the upgrade? That's going to be tight. We need eight, nine, ah, crap. And a t two tin. I don't think we've got enough iron. However, we can cheat. 
So we can go over to here, we can shove that one in there and switch it, take the upgrade out, and then put that one there and we'll put the upgrade in this one and then take that back. Now we should have a three by three on this. There we go, perfect. Um, just temporarily while I'm cutting down the trees, it would just make it a lot easier if I've got the three by three on. Um, so we'll cut that and then we'll just do it along here. Just a lot easier to just cut down a whole bunch of trees. And I appreciate going from the side would have been a lot, e you know, would cut down a lot more, but I don't care. I'm doing it this way, and you can't stop me. Ah. Uh, right, so that's that. And right, so that one there, and then that one there, and then we should... Get all our stuff. Perfect. Okay. There must be one still left. Yep, there he is. Perfect. Okay. Now we've got all of the goodies. So we can plant some more. There we go. We'll wait for those to grow and then we'll harvest them all in one hit. So what we need to do is we need to go back here. We need to put this in the table, take that out, swap it over again, like so. And then switch that back to there, and then we're good. Okay, so that can now go in a chest. Um over here somewhere, along with all this stuff, because we've got no place else to put. Um, and I think what we're going to try and do is get a backpack or some kind of pocket storage. Now, is pocket storage in here? It is. <gasps> pocket storage. We need four, five, six. Ah, six iron. I've got five. What about backpack? What kind of backpacks we got? Okay, so we've got sophisticated backpacks. We've got these ones, infinity backpacks, which I, I, you know, we don't have enough money to do it or enough stuff to do that money and we don't have enough stuff to do that um these backpacks though are quite cool i do like these backpacks um but they just they're just too expensive for us right now we we just need in fact actually these ones might not be actually this backpack might be all right i mean it'll give us a place to house all of our stuff that we use and then we can upgrade it using iron later so Iron backpack, gold pack pack, then diamond, and then never iron. We could do that. That would be kind of cool. Then we could get pocket storage, which obviously you guys know is my favorite, one of my favorites. Um, so we need a chest, we need some string, and we need some leather. So we need a chest. Um, do we have any string and leather? We do not have anything in there let's look in this one oh, we got leather okay so that's cool do we have string oh we have one two three pieces of string i think we possibly need four <sighs> uh we've got eight planks so we can make a chest right let's see how close we are i think honestly i don't think we've got enough resources right now we've got that yeah we need one more piece of string uh, but it just happens to be dark, so let's go find a spider. Or should I say, let's hope we can find a spider. Uh, although, there we go. Look, you can see it on the minimap. There's a spider over there. There's a spider over here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Probably not the good idea without any armor, but we got a, we got a piece of string. Right now, we, now we can run. So, let's go into here, and let's go sleep. One, two, uh, there we go, cool. And then, where are we? We're, so we're going to shove that back in there, and that back in there, and then we're going to make ourselves a backpack, like so. Nice. Okay, so this backpack is really cool. You can expand it, you can put slots in it, you can do bits and pieces. And also, 
it should shove in a backpack upgrade or on a backpack slot should be there we go so it's in a backpack plot now press b oh no b well that's something else i don't know what that is let's have a look at um options controls and we'll have a look at the key binds and we'll look at b specifically uh, as a key so not bound really that's not helpful uh b there we go open build guide for what Build guide for what? Um, we're going to go control for that one. Open build guide is bound to control plus B button. Okay. I don't, I don't really want the narrator on. Selected. Narrator. Narrates chat. I don't want it on. Narrator. Narrates. Well, that's Cycle not. mode down is bound to B button. That's really Selected list be. row 35 out of one. Sort inventory is bound to middle button button. What? Turn Narrator. Out. Off. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, so we've got B up here for balance crafting grid. Integrated terminals. Okay. Balance crafting grid, we're going to give a zero. Uh, where else have we got? So satchel. Open the satchel. Occultism. Yeah. Okay, we're going to put that on three. Um, I don't, I'm not really worried about whether it conflicts at the moment because I haven't found a thing for that anyway. Open backpack B. Uh, so that's cool. Middle button, middle button. Done. Done. Come out. B. There we go. Now it opens my backpack. B. Okay, so what we can do now is we can go back and we can take our other bits and pieces and like our axes and, and that kind of there we go, shovel and a hoe. Uh, we'll take the leads just in case. And we've got to remember that this backpack is not the biggest. So therefore it will not handle a lot of stuff, but it will handle some. Uh, so we'll take our water buckets, uh, not the eggs, leave the eggs behind. Uh, and then what we should be able to do is B and then put everything in there. I uh, don't need that. In there. Let's go put that back in the chest. Okay. So there we are. Uh, food would be a good idea to possibly take with us. And we don't have... No, we don't. We, we have cooking for blockheads, but we don't have the food evil thing. So that's cool. Um, we're going to take that. But we need to start a farm, really. Uh, oh, that's a point, actually. Do we have botany pots? Please let... No! Love botany pots. <laughs> anyway... Uh, it is what it is. Right, okay, so this episode, we need to have a look around. We've we've got this going at the moment. So we've got this little farm thing up here. I think what we might do is actually make a farm um, because we really do need some food. Um, and if I stop falling down, that might help. But yeah, I think what we're going to need to do is an indoor farm. I think it's an indoor farm we need to require. Uh, maybe a little baby one, or should we put it out here? Um, actually, we could put it out here. Because our base finishes here, right? So we could clear out this here. Just like this. Now we've got a super duper flux bore. We can literally clean out an area. We'll stop it about there. Get ourselves a little farm. Uh, and then make sure that we can get some food going because that will be good. Would be, would be a good idea. Right, if you press shift. So if you've got it on a 3x3 or the 5x5, which you can get. Um, if you press shift, it will do one block. So shift and then one block. Uh, there's my house, so we're going to stop it about there. We are. We can put a door in the place, actually. Yeah, we can put a door here. Um, it's one tile up. That's annoying. Is it really one tile up? It's not over here, but... 
You know what? Because it's going to annoy me otherwise. So we'll have to just go one down. And then we've got to dig out that floor, and we've got to dig out this. I've opened a can of worms. But uh, getting a little farm should be quite good. We've got some seeds now, which is good. Um, Alright, so there's that, that, and that. Perfect. Okay. Now, what do we want? We want our farm to be kind of centralised, which is sort of here-ish. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do is we'll just eat into the sides here. There we go. And we're going to leave that center square there free for the water. We're going to make an infinite water source, obviously, in a second. And we're going to put that inside because that would be a good idea. So we we'll do that. And let's get rid of some of this. We'll just put, we'll just in case we want to expand it quickly, um, we'll already have the blocks in place. So let's just muller that and this. And then we'll get rid of those three. And what we should be able to do is we, we should have enough blocks to just fill this all in. Like so. There we go. All right. Right. So, uh, probably the smartest idea is probably put another block over there, maybe, or going to the hill that side. Um, not going to do that right now because I'm not that smart. Um, but I think we will do that at some point. So let's get rid of this. We'll keep the seeds and we'll keep the torch. Torch is going to have to go back up anyway. What are we going to do? So we need... Uh, so up here we should have wheat seeds and that we should have a little bit of sand We should have more seeds there green leaf tea. No idea demons dream seeds Yeah, let's keep those ones for the moment um Right, so that's those ones if we got anything in here that we can grow Nope uh, What about here? Yes, we do so we've got tomato beetroot wheat sugarcane sage and carrots and potatoes. Perfect. Okay, that would be quite cool. Um, right, let's put our block. Uh, we need a block. So let's go grab a couple. Uh, so we need one block here, and we need to find the doors. Where are the doors? Didn't I make a, yeah, I made a few, cool. Okay, so we'll stick a door there as well. Uh, we'll put the thing back up there. The door on there, perfect. Okay, so uh, infinite water source can go in this corner. Just so it's out of the way. And backpack. There we go. And then one. And two. And then we'll pick up our water bucket. Go back into here and put them back. Perfect. Okay, so that's all that's that's all sorted. Although I need one because I'm stupid. I'm just going to fill that back up. Okay. Put it back in the backpack now. There we go. Right, now we need the hoe. So let's grab out the hoe and start tilling the dirt. There we go. All right, so we know that we need snad, which is that snad? That is snad. So how much snad do we need? Let's get 10. Right, so snad basically makes um, things grow faster that otherwise would be on sand. Pretty pretty much it, really. Uh, right, let's get that. And we'll get carrots. We're going to need the industrial hemp seeds as well. What the hell's happening there? Uh, right, there we go. Okay, so if we plant the potatoes and the carrots, and then we'll do a line here of wheat. We'll do the beetroot. I'm not going to plant all the beetroot, but we are going to plant all of the industrial hemp. 
because we're going to need string. Um, right, those we've got, we've got sage seeds. So I'm just going to plant two sage seeds and two tomato and then another wheat. That's our basic little farm. Could we do a bit more? Yeah, probably. So let's go and do Right, how much can we get around the sides? Actually, we could probably go most of all around the side. That seems cool to me. And be ready. Look at that, one seed short. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. We'll come out here and we'll hover this and that will be cool. So that's that. So we need to eat because we're getting a little bit hungry. There we go, sorted. Right now we need snad. That's that's the other thing that I needed. Uh, so I need my water buckets again. We need a nice little line, really, from what here. Yeah, let's go from here. So let's change the mode. Let's change the mode to a single, and just go here and here. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our snad down, like. So, the tree's in the way. That's annoying. Let's go kill the tree. Goodbye, tree. Uh, right, we're going to go... Are we going to go two more? Yeah, we are. Because we've got them, we might as well use them. So now what we could do is put that on the end and just to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, we'll do that. Uh, we do need to go and sleep because I'm quite conscious so I can hear a lot of crap. So we'll put that one there and that one there and then we can take this middle one and put it every other one. There we go. And then we can take another one and fill up the bucket. Perfect. Okay, so if we throw those ones back, then grab our... Oh, we've got an industrial hemp seed there. Well, that fixes that one. Um, right, so if we put the sugar cane along there, now we're all good. Uh, we need some torches, really. We need some torches. So let's go get some torches. And... Well, we're running out of coal. Uh, you know what? We'll be all right. We'll be fine. We're going to go do some mining between episodes, so it should be absolutely perfectly uh, fine. Let's put that on the wall up here. And we'll put this down here. And then we'll go in here because there's a zebra out there as well. And we'll go over here. But I don't want to. Okay, so that's that, that's that done. So we can put the snad in there, we can put uh, the force sapling. I don't know what that is, but yep, we're, oh, hang on. Was that force sapling? What the hell was that? I pressed Y. Oh, okay. Um, Nature's compass is kind of nice. Hmm. Okay, now I remember it. That's cool. If I do this and then press Y over this, there's nothing, right? But if I put a whole bunch of this in there and then go here and press Y, oh my God, you can find things in a chest just by pressing Y in this pack. That's so cool. All right, yeah, I like that. Um, right, so we're good now with most things. So we've got food going, we've got some more torches, we've got the flux saw and the flux bore. We've got our snad, so that will be growing, as you can see, look, 60%, 80%, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's cool there. We've got a little bit of a starter hut uh, or house or whatever you want to call it, but it's not really good, so, yep, cave. Yeah, start a cave. Uh, we've already mined over 2,000 
uh, Deep Slate and Cobblestone is, is way up there as well. There's still some in here. So I've got a... Oh, that might be a, a good one. All right, we've got some tin. So we'll put that in there. The upgrades. So the upgrades are relatively straightforward for the drawers, the functional storage. Uh, so you click on the first one and you need copper block, two copper blocks. You need a drawer plus copper ingots. Uh, so yeah, it's it. they're relatively straightforward, but they are kind of expensive. But you would expect them to be because they are quite powerful. So we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need two blocks and we're going to do it twice because we want uh, copper storage for each. So that's two blocks. And then what else was there? There was two blocks plus four. So another eight. So there we go. Right. So that's almost that stack of, well, that's 48, 46 copper in one hit. Uh, so the copper we're good with, we need two chests and an oak drawer. Now the oak drawer is fairly straightforward to make uh, and we should have, there we go. So we've got some wood and then we should have more wood in here. Perfect. Okay, so let's go and make our chests. So if you put logs instead, you get four chests, uh, which is kind of cool. So we've now got our four chests that we require. Now the functional drawer, I'm pretty sure like requires chests as well. It's functional storage. That gives us four. I'm not sure we need that many, but we're gonna go for it. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then you put those in the corner. Um, and the functional storage. I don't really want that one. I wanted the, yeah, we'll go with that one. Okay, so there was four and then there was planks, wasn't there? There we go. Oh, that gives us the four cornered ones. Yeah, I don't want that. What I want is just two normal, regular ones, which is that recipe. So there's there. I don't want the one split into four. Let's get a couple more. Uh, and then we'll put that around the outside. We will put a chest in the middle and we get our oak drawer. And then if we put those, um, oh, hang on, we don't need those yet because we need some copper okay so we can get one block of copper right now so let's do that there's one block so we're just waiting on the copper um so what we'll do is we'll put the upgrades in there now if you have a look on the very edge you can see that your mount like the the edge just pops up if you right click on there it will get access to the utilities and also the storage and um, and these are up here so you've got a uh, collector, so it will do, I don't know what the collector is, but right click in and GUI, GUI to change direction. Okay, so basically it's a collector. So it pulls stuff in or collects things from it. Okay, the puller. So that will pull it, that will push it. Uh, never right upgrade is insane, 32 times storage. This one's only eight storage, but still pretty cool. Creative vending, well, I don't have that. Uh, redstone upgrade, okay, so that's cool. Got a void upgrade, obviously. It will come in handy when you've got, like, you know, tons and tons of cobblestone and you just can't hack it anymore. Uh, right, so we should be at the first one. I won't do the second one on camera because, you know, this is taking a little bit long. But what we will do is just wait for these four copper and then we should be good. Now, the other thing that we need to do is obviously build a better base but look at the snad the snad is so cool okay so that's fast um right what do we got out here we've already got be no we've already got tomatoes so that's cool uh we got some potatoes already we've got some beetroot uh we haven't got anything else at the moment but that's cool so we've we've got a, a the beginnings of the farm so that's good so let's put the seeds in here Put the beetroot and tomatoes in here, but the potatoes are going to be cooked. And then we'll eat those. Um, and the sugar, can, that can go into there as well. Right, so we've got five copper. So let's do the first one. So we get that, click that, and off we go. Right, so now, like I said, with this one on the edge, 
and then shift and click in it and now it will store 16,000 uh, point 16.4 thousand so not too shabby so if we do that and then right click on there get rid of them all sorted okay so that frees up a little bit more chest space uh, we need to get some chip get some more of those compact drawers or the drawers for say, functional storage uh, for that but that's cool right so this is all good that's going to be the next one so we've got our power for this uh, which is being charged by the capacitor now obviously we want to get a little bit more but i need some more iron so i'm going to go mining between episodes uh, and we will try and get some of that going we've got uh that well, that's what i was going to look at actually is what furnace upgrades do we have so what furnaces do we have in the pack so we have force craft okay so yellow is there any difference between them black magenta is it just colors it looks like it yeah it looks like they're just colors mm. okay well yeah we've got the arc furnace the blast per furnace preheater so we've got those we've got the resourceful and mycenial cinder and then we've got the furnitors obviously to do electricity um all right it doesn't look like we've got any really except for yeah except for industrial foregoing really redstone furnace i mean these are expandable you know you can put in upgrades and stuff anyway not really worried too much about that but it would have been nice to have something a little bit more little quicker um but that's fine We're, once we've got a, a decent amount of um electricity we will be fine or rf whatever we need to find another one of these because this is annoying but you know we'll find that um yeah Okay, so we haven't really done much this episode. It's kind of a kind of an in-between one, isn't it? Start the basics and get the thing and do that. And yeah, so uh, let's get the other one actually. And we'll put that in there as well. Let's get one more. Right, so that's the other thing. So if you're in here and you've got 16.4 if you then do that it will make that go a stupid number uh, it's kind of cool come on two more pieces you can do it all right so what are we going to do next episode so next episode is going to have to be well be between episodes i'm gonna have to go mining because yeah i need some serious amounts of iron and that kind of stuff um let's let's get this upgrade and then let's finish walking about it. There we go. There's the upgrade. Right. So look, if we put a single upgrade in here, we get 16.4. If we put another one, we get 131. Cool. Huh? Now we don't need that much in there. So we're going to put it in here. There we go. 16.4 now. So now that will hold a lot more stuff and we're all good uh the potato can come out here this is still burning but you know we're gonna waste some coal but never mind okay so i think obviously between episodes mining and uh exploring because i do want a couple of things i want another waystone so we're gonna have to go and find another village which has a waystone in I, I want that because I want to be able to transfer between, you know, the places where I'm, I want to be and then I want to go and explore and use that. The other thing as well is we need to start looking at, you know, what resources we actually need. So we are going to need applied energistics. Oh, hang on, at applied. So we go applied energistics this time. Okay. Uh, which means that we need exploring for where are they i'm sure there's some presses that i need isn't there so presses maybe they've changed 
But you normally have to go in and uh, into the meteor and grab the chest. There we are. There though. So we need an inscriber calculation press. We need an inscriber engineering. We need the logic, and we need this one, the silicon press. So we need one, two, three, four presses from meteorites. Now I'm going to go and look for the meteorites and. I might do a little bit of that on camera, but at the moment, I'm literally going to do that myself. It's really boring. But I might do it. I might actually do one of them on camera and then do the rest off. But yeah, so these are the ones we need. So we need an inscriber. Uh, so we need the, the calculation press, the engineering press, the logic press, and the silicon press. And then we need to go to the nether because we need silicon to be able to press it into printed silicon. And that comes from, oh, Certus Quartz, which is not nether. That's refined is the nether. Um, quartz by drops dust when not fully going. Okay, that's cool. So we need charged Certus and all that kind of stuff, which is fine. We can crush it to get that, uh, or we can use it to crusher. Okay, that's cool because that should start us into create as well. Now, do I have any silicon? I don't think I do. Oh, I might do. Fluorite? No, fluorite is not silicon. Uh, well, not silicon, sorry, Certus Quartz is not there. Okay, we don't have any, but I will go find some because I'm pretty sure that Certus is available lots of places. In World Transformation, Merge, right, there we go. Um, We'll find it. We will find it. It can't be that difficult. It's got to be around somewhere. But yeah, we'll go and find it and then we'll be sorted. So this episode was a bit boring. Um, you know, we've got our farm, which, there we go. <laughs> this is why I like Snad. <laughs> it's so fast. Uh, right, so we're good there. We've got a whole bunch of stuff that we should be able to collect here. So let's go and do that. Yep, there we go. Uh, some more. Perfect. Okay. So our little farm's good. Uh, we've got some food and cooking for blockheads. That will be quite annoying, but I think we will get into it at some point because, you know, why not? Um, so that'll be cool. We got to our baked potatoes. Sweet. All right, cool. Um, yeah. So between episodes, loads of mining and exploring i've got to go and find those inscriber presses we're not doing re refined this time we're doing it so i've got to go find those i've got a diamond pickaxe which i need to get another one of i've got six diamonds at the moment but this thing should help most of it um and i'm pretty sure you can enchant these yeah you can so the enchantments that we can get is efficiency Tip touch fortune would be nice holding uh, boon of the earth. Well, okay, and reactive so it has a chance to cast the inscribe spell on the top. Right, okay, I'm not sure about that one. Or to be found when mining stone, that would be quite cool. Hmm, that's quite interesting. So, what we're trying to get, what we need to do is get this one. Enchantment cost. Look at the cost for that. Uh, which is fine, but yeah, we'll we'll work it out. It's all right. We'll work it out. We'll do a whole load of mining. We'll be good. We might even start a builder or something. I don't know. Uh, do we have solar in the pack? We've got to have solar in the pack, right? Yep, we got solar. Okay, so we've got power solar panels. They look all right. We could probably get a couple of those next episode. Uh, and then we've got the solar panels from Mechanism, which are quite good as well. Okay, so the basic ones are photoelectric panel or pane, dielectric paste. Uh, let's go and have a look at what the pane costs. Okay, so stained glass or glass pane plus dielectric paste and lapis. Dielectric paste is relatively easy to get, especially now that we've got lava in, in here. But uh, we can always go and get some more, so that's not a problem. All right. That's it. That's it. We've got our plans 
So I'm going to go and enact them. And then next time you see me, we should have all the resources that we need to do stuff. Hopefully, with any luck. We'll see. Anyway, I've been Sentosis. You've been awesome. Laters.